1927. Southeast Iraq. During advanced excavations at the ancient Mesopotamian city of Ur, British archaeologist Leonard Woolley discovers the remains of Queen Puabi. According to reports, the queen is found with an unusually large skull, similar to that possessed by some Egyptian pharaohs and mummies in Peru. For many ancient astronaut theorists, the queen's skull provides further evidence of mankind's extraterrestrial origins. The description of the queen was highly unusual, a head that was huge. She was not a normal human. She may not have been full on Anaki. She could have been a hybrid. There is an effort underway to try to get genetic analysis of the bones. There are characteristics that elude to Anunnaki genes. This is what the Anunnaki supposedly looked like with these cone head type skulls. So we would naturally think that she is one of the original Anunnaki or certainly an uh, extraterrestrial human hybrid. What's of interest of Queen Puabi is that she's a first dynasty queen and or priestess. So the fact that she's first dynasty means that she's very close to the reign of the Anunnaki. This puts her in a very unique position because she really holds the key. She might be the evidence to suggest whether or not the ancient Anunnaki were physically real, and that specifically the Anunnaki interbred. But if the unusual skulls found in Mesopotamia and elsewhere are really evidence of the Anunnaki's reign on Earth, might the legends about them descending from the sky also be true? And if so, might the same be said for other legends that describe similar beings found in ancient texts all over the world? Angels. The flying serpents of Central America. The star people of the Anasazi. The notion that otherworldly beings came to Earth from the heavens is one of the most common themes in ancient mythology and religion. Could the stories really have a basis in truth? If we go back and look into ancient history, we find stories that sound very, very similar. They're sort of all-powerful, magical, superior entities, and they come from above. When you go into mythology, when you go into the Star People tales, when you go into the Anunnaki, it is the sameness, the similarity around the planet that makes you say something has to be responsible for the same dreams, the same mythology, the same idea that life came from the stars.